Hey guys, it's me, Saran, back with another video. Today's hidden figure is Janice Bryant Howroyd, who was born September 1st, 1952, who is an entrepreneur, educator, ambassador, businesswoman, author, and mentor. So a couple of weeks ago, one of my friends actually um, recommended her for hidden figures. And then it's funny because earlier this week, the LA Times actually ran a really extensive article on her. Uh, which of course will be in the description box along with other links so it's just really really kind of cool and funny how that ended up uh, aligning so some of you may have actually heard of her this week or be familiar with her name or be familiar with some of her work um, and the stars just kind of aligned on this one so Janice Bryant Howroyd is the founder and CEO of the ACT1 the Act 1 group which is the largest privately held woman-owned workforce solutions company founded in the US the Act One Group also holds a minority ownership status and is a multi-billion dollar award-winning international talent and talent technology enterprise with multiple divisions operating in 19 countries with over 17,000 clients and 2,600 employees worldwide. Born September 1st, 1952 as Janet Bryan in Tarboro, North Carolina, Halroyd was the fourth of 11 children in her family. As a teen, Halroyd was one of the first African-American students to desegregate her town's previously segregated high school. And when Halroyd enrolled in the school, her teacher spoke about how blacks were well suited well-suited for slavery. Howard recounts forcefully biting the inside of her jaw in reaction so as not to shed a tear, feeling that crying would be accepting defeat. In 1976, she moved to Los Angeles, California, and worked as a temporary secretary for her brother-in-law, Tom Noonan, at Billboard magazine. While at Billboard, Noonan introduced Howroy to business executives, celebrities, travel, diversity in the workplace, and decision-making in ways she had not previously been exposed to. Armed with in Excuse me, armed with industry experience and knowledge, Howard continued to focus on employment services and launched her own company, the Act One Group, in a small Beverly Hills, California office in 1978. Tom Noonan was her first client. Act One Group Inc. provides employment, workforce management, and procurement solutions to Fortune 500 organizations, local and mid-market companies, and government agencies. As the founder and chief executive officer, or CEO, Mrs. Howroyd is at the helm and actively cultivates relationships in order to guide, support, and resource, resource her organization. Howroyd's companies under Act One Group include Apple One, a global provider of dedicated hiring advisors, All's Well, which is focused on healthcare staffing, AT Tech, a technical recruitment and professional staffing services company, Act One Personnel Services, offering talent recruitment teams that surface niche markets, Agile One, a business process outsourcing company, A Check Global, a global screening service offering background services, drug screening, and you know, et cetera, and DSSI, a full service content and document management solutions provider for commercial, entertainment, government, and healthcare companies. Operating in 19 countries, including Canada, the Netherlands, India, Mexico, Brazil, Colombia, the United Kingdom, and the United States, Act One Group Professionals bring corporate HR initiatives to local and global markets. The company is valued at over $1 billion, billion with a B, making Holroyd the first African-American woman with a $1 billion business not related to entertainment. Act One Group is also the largest employment agency in the United States owned by a minority woman. Howard is an ambassador of the Department of Energy's Minorities and in Energy Initiative, a board member to numerous organizations, including the United States Department of Labor's Workforce Initiative Board, the Women's Business Enterprise National Council, the Harvard Women's Leadership Board, the California Science Center, and the Los Angeles Urban League, among other boards and committees. She also serves on the Board of Trustees for North Carolina Agriculture and Technical State University. In May 2016, Howard received a key presidential appointment by then-President Barack Obama as a member of the President's Board of Advisors on Historically Black Colleges and Universities. Howard is also a noted philanthropist who supports universities such as her own alma mater, North Carolina A&T. She also supports women's organizations and minor minority-serving organizations through scholarship funding and personal service. She is also a mentor to others through personal work and media engagements. 
As a community leader and advocate for education, she lends her guidance to select organizations that include the International Trade Advisory Commission Board, the Los Angeles Economic Development Corporate Board, and the Women's Leadership Board of the Kennedy School of Government, Harvard University. Howroyd has traveled to over 50 countries promoting education and the powerful impact that it has on communities around the world. Howroyd has said that one of the greatest gifts of her business is that it enables her to help others. And that's kind of going to lead me into some quotes that I want to read. She says, one cannot effectively lead without passionately serving, which I love that quote. I read a really interesting uh, statement on Twitter that I also feel like kind of applies to me and what I like to do. This girl, she was like, you know, I don't like to think of myself as a teacher. I like to think of myself as a student. I'm constantly trying to learn and spread knowledge. And, you know, if as long as I'm learning new things and different things, I'm going to try and, and share that knowledge with others. You know, it's like you can't teach without being a student first. Like you can't lead without serving, you know, really, really important, powerful things to keep in mind. Um, especially with regards to like who you're watching and following and paying attention to and stuff like that. Uh, and Halroyd's personal motto is never compromise who you are personally to become who you wish to be professionally. Words to live by. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed this one. Janice Bry Bryant Howard. Janice Bryant Howard, the hidden figure. See you guys next time. Peace.